Hey guys, right now at Flexo Exchange, the most popular post is uh, the Flexo Inc. usage calculator. Okay, and uh, I've sent out to you guys a lot of these calculators. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce you to I just uploaded some videos on Ugly Flexo. And if you find the playlist titled Analogs Volume and Ink Consumption, and you watch that series, it'll explain to you how I derived the formula for ink volume consumption. And it is actually the formula behind this calculator that I've sent a lot of you guys. So what I thought I'd do is, in this video series, I, uh, I explore an example and I'm going to populate those same values in this calculator and uh, see if we come up with the same numbers okay so here we go in this case what we're doing is we're flood coating okay so the label width we're gonna say we're gonna coat 10 inches wide the length since we're flood coating we're gonna say is 12 inches which is convenient for number of feet. The percent coverage is going to be 100%. And what that means is if we were printing a label, let's say, and that label was 10 inches wide by 12 inches long, and we were printing a square inside of that or a circle or something, that square or circle might represent a certain percentage of that overall label area. In this case, since we're flood coding, we're going to use 100%. Quantity of labels, we're going to do 100,000 feet or labels. Since each label is 12 inches long, 100,000 of them would be 100,000 feet. And the percent overrun on this job is going to be zero. Okay? So, so far at this point, what we have is that the label area is 120 square inches. And the coverage per label is 120 square inches because the co percent coverage is 100%. And that is the same number I use in the example in that video on Ugly Flex what I tell you about. So now, the coverage of 100, uh, 12 million square inches uh, just as that example. Now, in the example I use 50% transfer analogs to plate and 50% transfer plate to substrate and a volume of 4 BCM for the analogs roll. And there you have the total gallons used is the same as in the example, 3.17 gallons. If you also want to calculate how many pounds you might use, if you know the density in pounds per gallon, let's say it's 8 pounds per gallon, you would use 25.36 pounds. And that's how this calculator works. Uh, and the math behind it is derived in uh, this video series I just posted. And so here's what I post, uh, well, I should tell you guys also. Some of you guys might have gotten this calculator where the value of gallons consumed did not vary when you vary the percentages here. If you have that calculator, write me back and ask me for another one because uh, that was a little boo-boo and I fixed that, okay? So there you have it, guys. Nice chatting with you. Have a good one.